I want to welcome you back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Well, we're going to continue, and holy cow, check out that beast of an armor set right there by Lord Buns, and he's a little baked. Wow. I saw I just did a few dailies. It's a bit late in the afternoon. It's getting there. Because I had a bunch of things I had to do around the house and stuff today. Well, I'm ready to continue with the story. And I think after I'm done with this episode, I'm going to do some Elden Ring, because I am falling a little behind on that. Well, right, let's begin, shall we? So, oh, about to get a new weapon. That's a 669. This is a 665. I'm finally getting a new gunblade that I can use that will be better than my relic weapon. It only took until level 96. All right, one with nature. Aaronville is eager to be off to the Pia... Pia... Pyronia, Pyronia, no, no, playing. Come, let's follow Wakalili, Leaky, Lika. There's no station on the way. Sure, so sh be sure to drop in. That train will be in the depot, but you can see it from the outside. I'm quite taken with the sleek design that headed myself. Though, if you peek through the windows, you can probably catch a glimpse of. Enough jabbering, Shenzo. Thanks to these two, we finally have some real work to do. So let's get 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 to it. Oops. I was supposed to say let's get a move on. Uh, so we'll see you later. I suppose there's no harm in stopping at the station. It's on the way after all. All right. Yeah, it's a little bit out of there. I have to lock my taskbar. All right, let's see what this story brings me. I thought this one was technically done. It is not. I do have to do a video of just doing all those, though. They're going to be important for me. You know what? When I finish this quest, maybe I will, because I'm at a nice lull in the story. I'm at a nice lull in the story. Nothing major is going on. No threats are happening. The Loney Station. I'll just wait until I get my new weapon, and then we'll do them. All right, Aaronville, what's up? I must confess, the train is an impressive sight. How easy it must, have, it must be to ship goods throughout the wilds now. That is a nice-looking train. Right. Maho... Mahiwahi... Etzon. Mahiwahi Etzon should be the northeast of here. Let's continue on. All right. Wait, didn't they mention something that if you look in the windows, you might see something? So give me a second. I mean, there's the cerulean barrels. More cerulean barrels. They said something about looking through the windows, and you might see something. Ah, off limits to me, I see. Hmm. All right, all right, I get it. Not sure what they really want you to see. All right, I'm done looking at the train. Oh, oh, that is... I have no idea what that is. That mount. I think there's a lot of mounts in the game. I don't have a lot of them you get from doing savages, PvP, and all that. Not a big fan of the PvP in this game, and, uh... Well, I'm a casual. I don't really do, um... Savages, as you all know. I have that. It costed me so many. What? What is... is that must be a summoner, but... What is that? Ah, uh, my... No idea. Such beauty. I will. I know more than a few gleamers would like. Love would love to explore this land. Mm-hmm. Wakaliki. Wa wait. Wawalika. Wawalika. Ah, there you are. The, the village is just up ahead. Truth be told, I've never had direct dealings with the people of Mahiwati Son, but I do know that their traditions mean a great deal to them, as does the land. Ah, these are like the Indians back in uh, old America, back in the old west. So these are in a way the Indians. 
one of the land and they have traditions and religions and stuff. Ah, such a lovely clean air. It feels like a treat after the overpowering cerulean of Shen Shen Shishi and one Shishi Onesie Springs. The waters near aren't the waters nearby are just as pristine. It's paradise for people and animals both. I'm glad you appreciate the blessing of nature as we do. Oh, is this where Kona came from? Greetings, travelers, and welcome. I am Hawaito, chief of the Mahi Mahiwatsi Son. This is my son, Sh Shepado. Sh Shepa yeah, it's Shepado. Are you gonna make a wooden doll later? Pleasure to meet you. I, th I thank you for the warm welcome and apologize for the sudden intrusion. I am Wawalika, station master of Zachoro Railing. A recent, the recent earthquake has damaged our tracks and we require timber to make repairs. This is Bader and Aaronville, who have volunteered to assist us with the restoration effort. Hey, oh. You have you've a most curious air about you of oil and steel, tanned leather, and the faintest hint of tender grass of lands unknown. I gather you not you are not of the from these lands. Uh, I hail from Eorzea. Uh, let's not try and confuse them with the star. Truly, I would love to the, the mo oh jeez, I can't read it. I Oh, you have to forgive me. House cleaning and stuff really wear you out. Really, I would love to know more about, of you and the lands you have seen. The music in this is very quiet, and yet when I turn up any more, it blares over everything. I am told your people hold your traditions in the highest, yet I gather you are curious about those of others as well. But of course, nature is boundless, as is our love for her lands and her children. The head so peculiar. Yeah, peculiar. Have done much to guide our way of life. Well, I star New Grindia, which is the greenest and most lush area in Eorzea. So, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Ah, man. I would love to. Where to hunt, to gather, to lay our heads. The Hetso teach us all these things and more. It is for that reason I believe that we are attuned to shifting winds around us. I see. The word Hetso, it means leader of souls. And the Hetsaro tongue, does it not? I'm sorry for the music being extremely quiet in this cutscene. I don't know why. I did turn the volume back up. It does. There are many creatures re revered as Hetso among the Hetsaro. Here, we look for Rane, Rane, Ranek for guidance. However, as you may have gleaned from our use of Aetherites, while we are committed to our traditions, this does not mean we reject all outside influences. Ah. So they're willing to learn and adapt, but they still follow their traditions. That said, there are certain things that give us pause. We will furnish you with timber you require, but first, as neighbors in this land, we ask you to indulge us in the discussion. You'll be glad, of course. I mean, yeah, might as well. Wonderful. We do not often receive guests come such as us uh, such a long way. And my son is always so delighted to hear their tales. Now, if you follow me. Well, I have a lot of tales. I have one about Yorzia and the Garleans. One about uh, basically a civil war that then became a national war. Almiga and... Uh, yeah, and then you have the... Uh, I went to a different star and basically saved the world. And then, yeah, I'm gonna turn the BGM up a little bit. It's a little quiet right there. I could just turn more of these up. One second. All right, we'll turn sound effects up. We'll turn voices up. System does not need to go up. Ambient, just a little bit. BGM can go up a little bit more and perf All right, I'm not worried about performance. Okay. Yeah, like I said, you have to forgive me because I 
I'm trying to find a good way that for the audio. And also the music, I think, for that later. Not now. I think the music in that one was just very quiet. Alright, uh, where is it? No, I'll read that later, because I definitely care about them. Also, I did some duties as Gunbreaker, which is why I'm now level 97, when last time I was at 96. I don't think I get any abilities until 100. I think I have everything. No, I get Repraisal at 98, which increases the duration to 15 seconds, when right now it's 10. What is I'm hearing? I don't know. Sorry, I'm hearing like a whistling. Oh! Okay, I thought I was going crazy, but no, there is actually a person playing a flute. I was getting really confused. I'm like, I'm hearing something. What is it? Okay, uh, if they follow the Renek with the seasons, it makes sense that they would live in tents that can be broken down and transported easily. This tent is made with hide and bones of the Renek. I wonder what else they are used for here. So, if you guys are like the Indians of old, you don't let any single part of the animal go to waste. I like this area because I love westerns. And I think I already told you guys that. I'm getting an ounce right here. I'm a big fan of Gunsmoke, Bonanza, Akifi. Hmm. You have to be a certain age, but Blazing Saddles is an amazingly funny movie. And then you have Clint Eastwood, who's just a classic uh, actor for westerns. And westerns are a good time. Shepardo, say, do you like to hunt? And with that, and wh what weapons do you like to use? Well, I do hunt sometimes. It depends if I want what they give me. Okay, Hoito, let's go. Is it Hoito? Is it W H? I think it's Hoato. Hoito. I will speak frankly. We fear the winds of change will soon bring misfortune to the land. Well, we might bring some disease and other things, but it'll be fine. The Runic have made a poten made the potential for danger plain. As you may have heard, their temp temperament has become erratic of late. We have, especially when we first got here. A stableman near Husatawi mentioned that. Do you know what the uh, what has caused this? We have our suspicions. Since others were drawn to this land by Cerulean, Shaloni has undergone a transformation. Just like with oil. And the railroads are a part of that. As strong and resilient as they may seem, Runic are sensitive creatures. The roar of the train as it thunders through the plains may well cause them distress. As the father said, we do not necessarily reject outside influence, influences or innovations, but in this, we can't help but worry. Understandably, thank you for being forthright. This matter concerns not only the Hatsara, had had but all of Shaloni. Hmm. Perhaps we should bring it to the attention of Valcona. Valcona, you say? We know him only through rumors, but he is apparently... How shall I put this? Hard-headed and aloof, he values te technological advancement and efficiency to the de de detriment of all else. Mind your tongue, Shepado. <laughs> I mean, he's changed. <laughs> While there is a grain of truth to the rumors, he is not nearly as bad as they make him out to be. Hmm. He's a bit awkward, so he tends to get misunderstood. That so, as we admittedly have never met him ourselves, perhaps we were too quick to judge his intentions. Vader fought beside Valcona in the right succession, 
I take his word over the rumors. Over rumors. You took part in the right succession? You're that close to the Dawn Servants? I was grateful for any help, but had no idea I'd recruit a bona fide hero. Eh, it's alright, man. The succession of Dawn Servants filled us with uncertainty for the future, but there is clearly much we do not know. On this particular occasion, the winds of change are not meant to be feared. No. We must open our hearts and minds that we might see Falcona for who he truly is. Do you think he might visit someday? Just as his father offered us guidance, I'm hopeful that he will do the same. Thank you for hearing and allaying our concerns. I'm glad that we could speak. As for your timber, we have freshly cut logs near the lake. Please take all that you require. Thank you. Hey, you want to do all my crafting and gathering for me? Because I don't do that. We're terribly grateful. I promise we'll keep the runneck foremost in our minds as we continue working on the railroad. As if needs be, and if needs be, we, va we seek Valcona's counsel. My thanks again for your time in t the timber. We shall endeavor to return the favor. I hope to see you again soon. Yep, yep. Let's go. Uh, uh, we go up my timber. Well, time to say goodbye to my beautiful, beautiful gun blade. I'm talking about you, my Manderville Gunblade, because I'm about to get a new one. Finally. We have to carry all this back to the station? We have more than enough timber to fix the ties. Now we need a transport to the station, which will be a bit more involved uh, than I thought. I didn't expect we'd be given so much. Mind waiting here for a spell while I round up a few more hands and a runic? Eh, it won't be long. All right, see you later, man. I'm glad that I'm glad that went well, and thankfully, it seems we won't need to make several trips for the timber. Yeah, I mean, he did say take what you need, and say take it all. All right, everyone, new gun blade. It's an S. I oh, let me see. Let's compare. It is. Hmm. -mm. It's better in item level. Vitality is only two points better. This one has tenacity. This one does not, because I did not focus on tenacity, but crit and skill speed. Determination is a lot better, and strength is actually uh, decently better, too. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. It glows red, and it looks really cool. All right, well, give me a second. When I'm done with these, I'm gonna return them to my inventory. Or I will hold on to these, because they took me a long time to make. Well, not that long, not as long as, uh, uh, what was it called? What was it called? God damn it, what was it called? Uh, um, um. Ah, whatever. It'll hit me at the least likely look up. Ooh, a new chest piece. And the land would tremble. Aaronville regards the pile of timber with undisguised wariness. While we wait, we could get started moving the timber somewhere more accessible. It wouldn't take long if we split the work. Alright, let's do this. God damn it, what was it? It was, uh... Alright. Oh, I have two minutes. Let's do this. What was it called? I got two minutes, so I'm gonna think for two minutes. What was that damn quest? The, the, not the quest. It was a land. It's not Palos. It's not Palos. That might be the second location. What was it? Eureka! It was Eureka. That was it. I grinded Eureka and I got an Astro weapon, I believe. I got my Samurai weapon. I got the tank armor. I think I got another weapon too, but I don't quite remember. And then you wanna know what I did after they did what they did with Astro? Threw that weapon in every piece of equipment I had for Astro away. Didn't care. 
Yeah, I was very mad, okay. But yeah, I no longer have anything Astro related. I got rid of everything. Even my weapons and stuff I made. Alright, let's done with that. Back to story. I should think this will be uh, I should think this will be enough. That was mighty kind of you to move all that lumber. Sorry we didn't make it back sooner. Ah, uh -uh, don't worry about it. It took two seconds in a black fade. We'll see to the rest. I'm curious what the body armor is going to look like, because that weapon looks really nice. Once we repair the tracks, we'll have you on the first train out of town. Ain't that right, Chief? Eh, as much as I love to make it so, there aren't any spots available. You'll have to wait for the other one, I'm afraid. But you'll be riding for free of charge. It's the least we can do to repay your kindness. That's fine. Namika and no few others were here long before we arrived. It's only right they got they go before us. It is true. No, well, but let's not budge. I hope you'll stop by and see the train off. It's a breathtaking sight, let me tell you. The Nitowiki. Oh wait. Oh, uh, and Nito Wika Wikwe. We Kevway, week away, need a week away. We'll be driving. No engineer compares to her. It's always a treat to watch her work. The only work we should, uh, the only work we should be worried about is our own, Shinza. And we still have more to do. I'll be somewhere quite near the station to pass the time. If there's anything else in Shaloni you're keen to see, I'll see you do it. Roger Dodger. And right there, it's like, hey, you should do your side quests if you want to do them. But I won't. Oh, let me talk to them. Hey, Shenza, how you doing? It'll be good to have the train running again. I miss the sound of her barreling down the tracks. Well, just be careful, they don't like the sound. My thanks again for your timely assistance. Won't be long now before the tracks are fixed and you're on your way. Oh, whoops. We'll handle the rest of the work from here. You just sit tight now. All right. Like I said, we'll do side quests in probably an entire episode. But... Excuse me? And there must be a fate or a boss going on, because holy cow, I didn't expect to see this many people. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they're looking for a world boss or something. Okay, have fun. Wasn't expecting to see at least 30 people go by, but hey. It's an MMORPG, what do you expect? Um... Okay, for a second I thought that was the fat cat mount, but that is no cat. That's it. Chinchilla? Eric, how you doing? Had your fill of the sights? Well, they appear to have almost finished. Upon proceeding? Alright, let's do this. That means coffee break for me. Now I want to play Red Dead Redemption. Grand machine indeed. I hope Namika was able to secure a seat. Here she comes. Yeah, I'm gonna play Red Dead Redemption right now. Oh, Red Dead Redemption One was amazing. Never played two though. Well, off they go. Thanks to you, we managed to resume service much faster than anticipated. You have our gratitude. 
Welcome there, partner. <sighs> There's nothing so enchanting as a cerulean-powered engine in motion. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Don't think I'll ever tire of watching them chugging along. Oh, they make wagons look like toys. And so long as we can lay the tracks, she can go on and on and on. Before you know it, she'll be crossing the entire continent. Ah, the Transcontinental Railroad. Railroads are a somewhat recent addition to Tural. As it stands, we can only ferry folks as far as Yasolani. And from an operational standpoint, we still have much to learn. There's always some problem or another to deal with. But we'll keep working at it. We'll hone our craft and continue expanding till one day our trains are running coast to coast. That's the yeah, ultimate dream. That's what he's basically talking about, the Transcontinental Railroad, linking and uniting the East with the West. Now what's gonna happen? Because we have several cutscenes playing back to back, so something's gonna happen. Or is this gonna be a really happy filled series of cutscenes? Because I keep expecting the bloody worst. <laughs> Call me a pessimist, but yeah. Hey, look at them. Just grazing out there. Goodness, I completely lost track of time. By now I expect the train will be nearing Yasolani. When it returns, we'll see you on your way. So if you've got any preparations to make, <laughs> you better make them quick. Okay. Um... Not another one? You can't be serious. Um... Moo? Rum? No? Is, is this a primal? This doesn't seem natural. And it can't be from all the cerulean around here. It's Hildebrand. I'm joking. God he has the same haircut. Have mercy. What are you looking at? Oh, what? I think the story just went to oh shit mode. What in the flying? What's happening? Oh, the train. Natomikwe and the others. The train had a bomb on it? My home lies that way as well. Uh-oh. Was that a bomb? Ugh. We're going to investigate. Right now! Wait, was that... If it's a bomb, was that supposed to go off here? Because we repaired so fast, we just blew up that place? Oh, shit. That's not good. Hey, man, I think your mom... Nope, has nothing to do with the train. Wait, what? Wait, sorry, we're at FF13 now? Actually, it feels like Dirge of Cerberus, the operatives that were under Shinra. What world? Are they heading for Tuliola? Uh-oh. You need to get back right away. They probably don't know what's coming in that. Looks like... Oh. Is this the first... What he wished for? This might be his wish. Because remember, he, uh, uh, I, saw, I, saw, I forget his name at the moment, the first promise. He wanted power to control the entire world, and this might be it. I didn't expect something out of uh, Final Fantasy 13, or if you want to say a little. Dirge of Service, honestly, with the armors and the machinery. Heavens for Fent. Yeah, this isn't good. Hey, You're well. here. Good, good. They came from the sky and attacked without any warning. Yeah, no, it was there when they blew it up. 
The people need our help. You know how I said I'm a I a worry a lot in these types of games because too many cheery moments lead to bad things. Yeah. Oh shit! Just happens. Can you stand? Try to remain calm, everyone. Yeah, I want to remain yeah. calm. And I'm literally getting shot at by cyborgs. What the? I don't know what they are, but they're not men. Uh oh, who's jumping in to save you? He didn't make it in time. Bastard! Oh, he didn't make it at all. Is it sucking the aether out of people? Wait, is that Galu Jaja? Yep. No, it's Baku Jaja. Never mind. Thank you. Uh, save the things. Just get to safety. Uh oh, I think uh, Galu Jaja is gonna die here. Yeah, it's not doing too well. I just thank you, Baku Jaja. This is a mess. It's basically a very cultural civilization that just it's starting to discover technology going against, let's say, um, uh oh. This is simply how I do things now. So, who wants to chase my blade? Yeah, it's like, uh... I don't know. I'm not finishing a thought right now because I'm curious what's happening. Uh, hello, who are you? Okay, new character just decided to come in the story. Got me on that's gonna be an important one later. Now, if I had to guess, we're gonna see the first promise fight in Golu Jaja. Zorolja? Zorolja. I think it's Zorolja. We're gonna see Zorolja fight in his father. That is. Uh, he's dead. Wait, where's Kona? He got that upgrade. you should still live. Where's Kona? I'm actually worried now. Zorolcha? Oh, okay, he's alive. By the gods. What has happened to you? His hunger for power became so great. Butchery, isn't it?
After everything you've done in service to the throne, how could you betray us? Oh, you're still alive? I thought he killed you. My demand is simple. The dissolution of Tuli Yolol and surrender of all its territories. Refuse, and I will kill every last one of you. I got feeling he can do that. Have you gone mad? I, yeah, no, he's been mad the entire no, time. My ambition remains unchanged. To teach the masses the folly of war that they cry out for peace and thus unite the world. What has changed you so much and in so short a time? To harm the very people you swore to serve? <sighs> this is an unforgivable deed committed by my son. My son! The throne falls. Oh dear. You have heard my ultimatum. I want your weapons. And you will have my answer. By my hands, I will end your madness. Papa, wait! I should be the one to do this. No! His sins are mine to bear. Fear not. Osoralja is strong. He has never been father's equal in combat. The problem is he has a giant upgrade. Literally. He is a machine. I believed you long dead. To have the chance to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. Yeah, I don't think Golzhaja is walking away from this alive. <laughs> sins of the father, well, sins of the son, taken from the father. That's not what I expected to happen. Holy cow, Golajaja, you are the beast. Also, I'm sorry you had to kill your son. Wait, wait, you could be playing possum. Wait for it. Oh, you're kidding. He has an auto-revive mechanic? With Dole Heal? Oh, that what? is... <gasps> dirty. Despite his old age, the mighty Gulul Jaja remains a fearsome foe indeed. You retain the vitality of two souls, despite the passing of one. Okay, we have to crush you, man. We're gonna destroy like the Terminator. Even the odds. Huh? Uh, wait, what? 
Um, he just went into overdrive. Even the blessed are mortal. Father! Dr. O'Connor. Faint-hearted girl would live up to her title. Very well. If only to demonstrate the disparity between us, I give you a chance to prove yourself. Rally the entirety of your strength. Lay siege to my kingdom. Strike me down, like I did, father. Then, will you be his worthy successor? We're gonna have to find a way to combat his augments. They're just gonna keep bringing him back. My warships will remain in your skies. When you fail to prove your worth, I shall order them to lay waste to Tuli Yolal. Choose your next steps wisely. I hate to say, I don't think all the healing you guys are doing is gonna save him. He was stabbed right through the chest, and magic can only do so much for wounds like that. Oh, hi, Mouse Cursor. Oh, okay, we're just picking up here. Okay. Kedrim, I need to know, what did you do? Oh, have mercy. Oh, wait, he's breathing. Okay, so he's probably going to give us a farewell speech. Everything is good. Everything. But it simply wasn't enough. I can scarcely believe my eyes. How could this happen? Father. No. This cannot be. Yeah. No, Papa can't die. He can't. Was the price of this chess piece worth it? Absolutely not. Wow! <laughs> I look like the, uh... WWE Tag Team Group. The road boys or whatever. Um, okay. I'm immediately gonna just gr glamour because that's gonna look wrong for me. 
Okay. It feels weird, I know. No time for tears. While Clement is struggling to process what she has witnessed. How could this happen? You know, I don't think this music's very accurate right now, game. Just saying. My father died. Do, 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 do. Yeah, he's not. Please, you can't give up. Are you there, a oh friend? I'm right here. I'm right here. Look after my children. What? I'm an old fossil like you. I've only got so many years left. But if that's what you want, it would be an honor. You and I must go on another journey together someday. Hi, you can count on it. Please, Father, you must save your strength. Our flesh may wither and die, but so long as we are remembered, we are never truly gone. Through you, my hopes survive. Through you, I live on. So do not mourn me. Walk tall and see your nation to a brighter future. Damn. 
At a time like this, we must take initiative. There will be countless people in need of help. Gula Jaja was so proud to be succeeded by his children, to think that he will never get to see them carry on his legacy. What can we do now? We must see the, to the people. Assess casualties and well as any damage done to the city. Yes. If only I'd been more careful. Right. So, uh, I. Val Walkama Valcona. I bring word from the city. The enemy has withdraw, withdrawn, and Lance Guard have begun rend re rendering aid to the people. Casualties in our ranks have hindered progress, but we will continue to do all we can. Thank you for your report. Please inform the, inform the guard that they are to prioritize such efforts until further notice. The people. I need to help them. We will assist you whatever and Whatever way we can, of course. Thank you. Thank you. There are sure to be wounded everywhere. More than I, can, I could count. We'll split up and help the, all of them. You can count on us. <laughs> Alpha no now they. Could you take Bayside Bevy and cry on Aaronville? Take the palace perimeter. As Bader, please come to the resplendent quarter with me. We'll all meet here. Back out. We'll meet. We'll all meet here. Back. Oh, jeez. Why did I keep putting here before back? We'll all meet back here afterwards. How about these two? Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to look up to the sky as soon as I leave, and there's going to be warships, aren't there? God damn it. I really wish I could jump that. Alright, let's assess the situation, shall we? Yeah, no, there are warships in the sky. All right. Let's head to the resplendent quarter. Oh yeah, I already see someone that help. A dazed citizen, aiding by putting my hand out. Thanks. Uh, I think I'm all right. Did you see them? Those soldiers? They looked like people. They killed. Killed with no hesitation. They attack us again. How can we hope to defend ourselves? So I'm trying to think. Because. I don't know what it sucked out of that one lady, whether it's aether of different elements, because it was blue and red. So maybe it was. I think it was water fire aether? I don't know. A weeping citizen. Yeah. Thank you, sir. But my husband's son, they were. They were. Yeah. They were. An angered soldier. Thanks, I'll be fine now. But we failed to protect the people. Why do so many have to die? Where were Vak Val Waklamut and Val Kona? They're not to blame, I understand. I do, but... I need to clear my head. Where's, uh... 
Baku Jaja. Wonder if he held his own. If I remember correctly, he was here, maybe? Around there? I'm gonna assume he's fine. It's a side quest, and I don't think now's a great time to do so. A fuddled citizen. Thank you. I thought I was done for. Heard something disturbing. The enemy leader. They say he looked like Zorja. That can't be true, can it? Why would the first promise attack his own people? If it was him, what happens now? If he is he gonna go come back, what do we do if he does? We take the battle to him. Though I think right now that'd be a losing tactic. Frightened merchant. Thank you. The pain is better now. I can't stop shaking. Where did they come from? Why did they attack us? Why are all those things still in the sky? We had peace under Go Golujaja. We were safe, but now... Yeah, I know, man. I know. Might as well just do this real quick. Okay. I wonder if I'm gonna run into that woman I saw while we were running the palace. I got a feeling she's gonna be important because I kept staring at her. You've, you've finished dating the people here? Thank you. There were children among the wounded. Children. Nah, no, now is not the time. There are still others who need help. Could you go and see how things are at Talon March and afterwards go and find Alize at Baby's side bevy? I guess we'll jump down and start here. There is no evidence of significant damage from the battle. The fighting did not spread this far, it seems. Oh, that's not a great time. So, if you're wondering what this is, I can upgrade the hunts I can do. I can now do medium-sized hunts. I am not doing that, or that will entirely kill the mood right now. That will be a later on thing. Oh, wow. The fresh scorch marks on the ground are doubtless from the enemy, the enemy assault. You no, know, it's sad and funny at the same time. All these people, they're in the city and everything is just fine. For me, though. The shop appears to have been weathered in the weathered the chaos, though its wares have been strewn across the floor. Now the boats, they all look untouched. The harbor looks like it was the one, the second only place they'd never touched, next to the gate over there. Harbor looks fine. The port remains unscathed, but the enemy ships continue to loom overhead. That they do. All right, let's go to Bayside Bevy and find Alize.
I've helped all those I could find, and seen them delivered into Landsguard care. As many casualties as there are, it would have been worse if the Landsguard hadn't fought as bravely as they did. And if Zorolja actually meant to harm the people. I mean, look around, the buildings are hardly damaged. I, I suspect his aim was more to incite fear, to show he could strike whenever he pleases. But we can discuss that, discuss that later. How is Lama T? Uh, not really taking it well. I think right now she's... I think right now she's rushing to the people for two reasons. One, she does care for the people, and two, she's trying to distract herself from her father's death. She's using the events and helping people to distract herself. <laughs> Even after laughing her father, she's trying so hard to fulfill her duty to the people. Still, everyone has their limits. She needs to rest soon. Rest soon. Someone mentioned seeing her head towards the shore. Perhaps she's gone to Gorntuk Kulim Sand. There she is. If I guess she's about to have a cry. Steady now. Yeah. I brought you medicine. A drink. There you are, Lamati. I was beginning to... No, trust me, you don't want to be here. Come it's her. Come on! Come on! Take it! I saw the bracelet, I did. Please. I know who Lamati. she is. Lamati! Lamati! You need rest. You and him both. I will tend to this soul. But my people, I have to help them. The Landsguard have matters well in hand. Trust in them. If there's another attack, your people will need you to protect them. They'll need you to be sharp. So please rest. Consider it your duty. If you're wondering why I think I point out the bracelet, I thought that was her nursemaid. It ended up not being. I stood before them all. Said that we'd build a nation where everyone knows happiness. So much for that promise. What good is a vow of resolve? Who cannot save her people? You won't save your people by brooding. You're right. This isn't the time for sulking. Thank you. My head's a little clearer now. I need to concentrate on what I can do, rather than what I can't. Ugh. 
We've dealt with unfriendly factions before. From your Cristo longing for conquest, to adherents of blessed siblings, people who are unwilling to listen. Even so, I believe that by learning about one another and engaging in good faith, we could peacefully settle our differences. And we did. My brother is different. There will be no reasoning with him. He killed our people. Our father. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his goal. What's more, he has power. The power to destroy the peace we've worked so hard to preserve. If I'm to protect that peace, then I must fight. I must confront Zorolja and kill him. I'm fine. I j just needed a moment to sell my nerves. Thank you for being there for me, and for urging me on despite all my sulking. Sitting around complaining isn't very leader-like, is it? So much has happened so quickly, I struggle to make sense of it all. The strange soldiers, those floating ships, the new powers Orosia commands. Given everything he's done and still intends to do, I know I can't afford to run headlong into battle. Not this time. I cannot let this terrible pain in my heart lead me astray, but I will make it my strength, the strength to do what I must. Right, I hand back to the palace. I need to talk strategy with Kona. Could you and the others join us in a while? However, we decide to proceed. I want you to be well, be, I'll be aware of it. Oh, and can you tell Alze I'll be alright? She's probably a Bayside Bevy. Alright. Yeah, she's up there. Alright, we're gonna take the Aetherite Crystal. Here. Be faster. That I take it, Lamati is feeling better. She needs to be strong for her people of Turl, I understand that, but she doesn't have to do it alone. So if she tends to fight, then we fight together. That said, I wish I knew exactly what we were up against. I mean, those pants shockingly work with my outfit. But, uh, no. Pick up the pieces. Alizé regards the fallen, so fallen soldier thoughtfully. I've cl it's clearly not a person, but does not look like an automaton or magic tech weapon I've ever seen. As far and wide as you've traveled, though, perhaps you've encountered some encountered something similar before. Would you mind taking a closer look? It may yield some clues as to Rolja's new powers. Examine the fallen soldier. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. Nope, ignore that. Let's look at the helmet. In place of where eyes and mouth might be, you see a strange sigil on the front of the helm. A 
weapon, definitely. Yeah, this definitely looks like a weapon from Final Fantasy XIII. A, the general shape of this weapon resembles a gun, but its construction suggests it's far more advanced than anything you've seen before. Which is funny, because we've been to space, and oh god, so... Yeah, this is more advanced than that spaceship we took. Oh, sorry, I meant to do this. From a distance, it appears to be simple armor, but upon closer inspection, its construction is quite intricate. The material which is made is unclear, and you see no signs of a power source. Hmm. I don't know. Take off the helmet. So, what do you think? I have absolutely no idea. I It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Like I said, the only thing I've seen that kind of symbolizes everything we've seen so far of the enemy is... Uh, one of my favorite action RPGs, even though people hate it, is Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus. Because there's that secret rank of Shinra soldier, which was underneath the building, and then... They got set free. That's what they remind me of. Except those were technically human, kind of. I'll have to replay the game to remember. But that's what they're reminding me of. I gotta replay a game one day now I'm talking about, because I actually do feel like playing it. Indeed, while it re resembles a person, it has features that make it uncanny. The lack of a face, not least of all. Did you see any sign of power source? So it probably doesn't run on ceruleum or any other conventional fluid fuels. I tried channeling Aether into it earlier, but there's no response. That would seem to rule out as an arcane entity. It, it, it's completely lifeless now. A far cry from the unstoppable enemy it was in battle. Even the materials it's made of is a mystery. Rather than a metal, it's more akin to stone. Wait, haven't we seen this somewhere recently? Yeah, the Golden City. We have in the Sky Deep Seno. That's right, the glowing stone used in the chamber were the gate to the Golden City. And while the soldiers are a different color, the warships are the same black as the stone of the gate itself. There has to be a connection. Let's share our observations with the others when we gather at some perch. Yeah, they're putting the pieces together quickly at least. The sooner we get to the bottom of this mystery, the better. Honestly, take the body with you. Dissect it. See what makes it work. Instead of just looking at it with your eyes. I, we can learn so much just by taking the body and at least hacking at the pieces. I sound like a crazed, like, doctor, but trust me, if it's not human or live, tear it piece by piece, see what's in it, see what makes it tick. I'm not talking to you, Huntsman. Not now. Also, uh, I will do the roll quests. I'm waiting until I level up one of every roll. I'm doing Gunbreaker as tank, Sage as healer, but I have to work with everything else. Did I go to the wrong one? I did, didn't I? God damn it. I swear I know what I'm doing. Also, this part really... Ooh. I was coming quite for a bit. Mostly thinking and all that, but also... I felt something with this one. Alright. Yeah, I should replay Dirge of Cerberus one day. I'm one of the few people who like it, honestly. I just don't like how there's no replay level button, so you can't grind money or experience unless you do the replay level trick. That was it. Looks like everyone's all, everyone is here already. Alright, let's go. Is this going to be voiced? I have a feeling if it's an important cutscene, maybe they voice it? Maybe? Yeah. 
Thank you for coming, everyone. And thank you for taking charge in the relief effort. We would have fared far worse without you. Someone had to do it, that's all. Come, let's take stock. In terms of casualties, at least 50 died in the attack. And many times that number are wounded. All available healers are seen to their care. Structural damage at least is limited, so essential business can be conducted without issue. That said, the people are understandably shaken. We must assuage their fears and begin working to restore things to normal as quickly as possible. That's going to be really hard to do with the warships in the sky, though. Now, the most confounding mystery remains our enemy. And their mechanical soldiers created with technology that surpasses anything I've ever seen. What is their nature? And how did Zoralja manage to bring them under his command? Such things remain unknown. They emerged from the dome encasing Yasolani. We're quite certain of that much. Ah, uh, speaking of the dome, we have some theories, I'm told? Indeed. I would like to call upon some helpers to join the discussion. May I invite them here? Thank Grid and Jay and Pralistinian. By all means. I take it we're getting the gang back together? It's me. Permission has been granted. You can come in. Or are you going to surprise me with someone else, Kryl? Greetings, everyone. Oh, Gratia. I forgot you were here. Well, no, actually, I didn't know you were here. Oh, and you're Shola. So you both decide to cross the salt. We got the two spellcasters here. One who's lived many lives, and the other one who's just really good at her job. Raha! Yishtola! After that long voyage, I had hoped that we might be afforded a moment's rest, but I gather circumstances are quite dire. Oh man, this song. Oh, it's a classic Final Fantasy song. All is well in the Annex, never fear. I've already dealt with the most pressing matters, and others hold the fort in my absence. Changing of Dawn Servants, Gulul Jarja spoke about the Golden City to his two successors. Thanks to Wuglamart, I was allowed to attend that meeting. What I heard led me to conclude that this was a matter for the students. Thus did I call upon our comrades who possess the requisite expertise. The old and the blind. <laughs> after that that the dome manifested. But, based on what we know, I have reason to believe that it is connected to the Golden City. While we're eager to help, we have limited familiarity with the situation. Might we trouble you to explain from the beginning? As you know, it was a letter I found tucked away in the Baldessian Annex that brought me to Tural. A letter from the Dawn Servant, addressed to my grandfather, sent some 20 years ago. The request to investigate the City of Gold? Indeed. The strange thing is, there was mention of neither Tural nor the City in our records. Hoping to learn the truth of my grandfather's mission, what he did and saw, I volunteered to help in the rite of succession. At the end of which, 
I was able to hear the tale from Galul Jarja. Like us, my grandfather went to the deepest chamber of the sky deep cenote. And, like us, he saw the gate to the Golden City. Is that what you required our help with? This gate? It was. You see, the gate was opened once in the past. And... It led to another reflection. Oh, great. I can take the story from here. Considering my part in these affairs, I reckon maybe I'm best equipped to speak on the matter. I was there too, you see. In those ruins, together with Galuf and Galul Jaja, and what I saw that day, I'll never forget. Oh, we got Echo. He looks weird, young. This black stone is remarkable. That's Galoth. I cannot help but wonder if the structures in this part of the ruins were built by a completely different civilization. It was over a thousand years ago that the giants mined here. Their records make no mention of glowing stones. Hmm. It harbors high concentrations of ether, and on the surface are what appear to be arcane patterns. They are Alagam, or Mahi, or Nemean. If anything, they put me in mind of the calculations of the South Sea Islanders, but even then... being carried, the baby. Is that her mother?
Now hold on. Why would you? That's... Though it never hard. opened again, Galif continued to study the gate for years after that, hoping to learn something of value. All he could conclude was that it was built with unknown technology, and that it led to another world, one apart from the Void. We'd assumed the ruins themselves were the Golden City only to discover that the real prize actually lay beyond the gate and beyond our reach. Couldn't make head nor tail of the artifact either. As it had similar properties to the black stone in the ruins, we were convinced it was important, so Galul Jaja took it to the palace for safekeeping. Galif, meanwhile, took the baby with him back to Charlian. Yeah, Cryo. Raised her as his own. That was her parents. She's from a different the shard. Child was. The earring inside the letter to my grandfather. It was apparently found amongst my swaddling clothes. If this is true, then it means that you hail from another reflection. So it would seem. I still struggle to take it all in myself. Looking back, Grandfather was always quick to seek distractions whenever I broached the subject. But never would I have guessed anything like this. But enough about me. We have more pressing matters. The forces that assailed Tuliolo. You suspect they are somehow connected to the Golden City? Thinking back on it, the soldiers look like they could have been made from the same black stone. And leading them was Zeralja. His involvement also lends weight to the theory. On the day of the succession ceremony, a bandit took me unawares and knocked me out. When I came to, I found my home turned upside down, with a few particular items missing. Namely the keystones I was entrusted with, for my role as Watcher of the Gate. The bandit? You believe that it was... I only got a glimpse of him, but I... was a blue-scaled Hubigo. I know no other. The artifact stored at the palace was also stolen. 
The thief struck during the ceremony, and the guard was spread thin. So our assumption is Zoran just somehow opened that gate to another reflection, where he acquired advanced technology and his mechanical armor. It fits. And if he did, then it's also likely that the dome is a product of this unknown reflection. Hold on. We've been going on and on about the reflections, but what of my home? What's become of it? We're going to find out. Indeed. Where it concerns other realities, I dare say the Scions are best suited to tackle the task. You can say that again. We've been to the literal edge of existence. Some mysterious giant dome shouldn't scare us. As you know, our order has ostensibly disbanded. We'd thank you to be discreet about our unofficial reunion. Yeah, I was about to say, we were disbanded. Huh. Worry not. We'll spare no effort to get to the bottom of this. And with our hero, eager to help, you can be confident of the results. Yeah, at the end of the last expansion, we disbanded. It's just a, you know, asked, but we're still going to do our thing. I'm coming with you. If that's where my brother is, then that's where I must go. I think you should be with your people at the moment. I can't say I understand everything you're uh. discussing, but I know what I have to do. I have to put a stop to Zoroja and restore the people's happiness. Suffice it to say, I share Lamachi's desire to join you. However, under these circumstances, it would be unwise for both vows to be absent from the city. Okay, so one of them are at least staying. As such, I shall remain in Tuli Yolal. Come what may, I will protect our nation. So go forth, sister. And do what you must. Thank you. It may be prudent for us to likewise divide our forces. While one group ventures into the dome, the other keeps guard without. Agreed. There's something I wish to investigate out here, so I will remain. Her audio sounds a little different from everyone else's. I as well. The enemy's warships still loom overhead, and I would see that we are prepared for the worst. I wish to go to the Dome. As a student, I have an obligation to investigate this potential threat to the world. But I'd be lying if I said I'm not deathly curious about my origins. If there's aught to be learned, then I want to learn it. In that case, Please let me come too. Well, I assumed you were going. The dome is where your I home is. I have to see what's become of my home. I may not be a fighter, but I know those lands like the back of my hand. I can guide you. <laughs> if you hadn't offered, I would have asked. We're counting on you. I'm not one for waiting around, so if it's all the same to you, I'll join the dome crew. You should accompany them, Graha. I expect your knowledge and experience will be useful. In the meantime, I intend to learn what I can about the gate, and will keep you apprised of my findings. Pray do the same. Assuming communication is possible from inside the dome, we'll maintain contact and share any developments. It seems our teams are assembled. 
A fine roster, I think. Looks good to me. We'll find a way to deal with the threat. For the sake of Tural. It's truly heartening to have you at our side for this. Thank you, everyone. Now, before we set off, there's one thing I need to do. The people are still shaken by the attack, and I'd like to reassure them as best I can. I struggle to believe I am from another reflection. I wonder does this mean my soul is thinner than a native of the source? Surely not, Yasholo would have noticed. Gods, there's so much I don't understand. My head is ripe to burst. I fear we know uh, we need to know more if we're to defend against another insult. Oh yeah, so what Cry was talking about right there is um the sun not the sundering, the oh god, oh jeez, I'm gonna try and explain this very badly. There are 13 shards, but in a different time, they used to be a one whole shard. Now, um, something happens. Oh, I'm very sorry about that. I was just told something. All right. I'm indebted to Ajik, Ajik, Ajika for overseeing our operations in my absence. I will endeavor to make myself as useful as I can here. We'll see, Graha. Another reflection encroaches upon our own. But how and why now? By the way, if you're wondering about my comment earlier, Graha is quite old, very old. He's lived many lives. That's all I'll go with that. And Yashola is blind as a bat, but she sees using Aether and seeing the Aether signatures of people, which is why she uh, she made the comment she did. Aaronville, please be safe. I mean, you're coming with me. We'll find a way to breach out the dome, and we'll make sure everyone inside is safe. Well, uh, okay. Um, it's embarrassing to think about how Zarlja caught me unawares, but I've no doubt the bastard came to kill me. I reckon he would have succeeded were anyone else. Who would have taught? thought him taking the key would lead to all this. I know what I'll have to do. I know what to do. I am going to call it here. So, yeah, shit's going down. This is the... It's now going... So basically, we're on a train. Ha ha ha. And right now, we're shoveling coal. We're going to about three... And now we just threw all that coal right in the furnace and we're cranking the puppy up to 9 and 10. So yeah, net, we're, this is where the story is going to be picking up. All right, key emotional moments have hit me a little bit. I can't wait to see where this is going to go and how we're going to get revenge and stop Zoral Ja. And I honestly have no idea where the story is going to go, but I will see you next time. But until then, goodbye. Good night. Farewell, and see ya.